Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a partition, how to create D drive, a step-by-step -step process through which we will be making the D drive and it is really very easy to do so. So currently we have a drive which is a round of 10 GB and uh, we want a new drive. We will delete this drive and we will make it uh, according to our convenience. So I want, let's say I want 50 GB of D drive. So we are going to create that, okay? So I'll close this window and I'll do a right click in the start icon. This will work on Windows 10, Windows 11 and even Windows 7 as well. So click on run here and type D-I-S-K-M-G-M-T dot M-S-C. I'll maximize it so that you can type it. D I S K M G dot M S C. Click on OK. And you will have a disk management. People who are using Windows 11, they can do a right click and they can open disk management from here as well. All right. Once you are done, once you see the disk management drive, Please pay attention to it. It is a very important part. We need to look how much free space we have. The first one is the C drive, and uh, we have two 60 MB, 850 MB, uh, 15 GB, 1 GB, and 10 GB. So this 15 GB could be the healthy recovery partition. If we scroll it like we can maximize it like this. So we will be using the C drive and we will take the space from here from the C drive and then we will make the D drive. Since we already have a D drive and we do not want that, we will select that D drive and we will do a right click and we will click on delete volume and I'll say yes. So in this manner, I already have 10 GB of unallocated space. Now this unallocated space can be created into drive. So we need more unallocated space. So I'll do a right click on the C drive. From here or from here, uh, it's absolutely same. Now we need to click on shrink volume since we need to take out the space and make a drive. So now it's squaring volume for available shrink space. So make sure you have uh, enough free space. I already have 300 plus GB and now I'm making uh, 40 more and we already have 10 GB. Now enter the amount of space you want to shrink in MB. So for 40, 1024 MB equals to 1 GB. So I'll take round 40 thousand MB like this four and four times zero this is the round off amount and I'll click on shrink and you will under you will see a difference uh, currently it has 10 GB and it will be round off 50 GB so now you can see now I have unallocated space of 49 GB all right so this unallocated, always remember, only unallocated space can be created into drive. Now, we already have the unallocated space and uh, we have taken from the C drive. You can see the free space is under 3G, 300 GB. I'll do a right click on that unallocated space and we will click on new simple volume. And we will click on next. And we don't have to make any changes. I'll click on next. Now assign the volume uh, drive letter, whatever the letter you want to. I'll keep it D drive and I'll click on next and format. Make sure you selected NTFS, allocation size default, new volume. You can mention the volume name if you want to and perform a quick format. That is fine, else it will take a lot of time. So I'll click on next and I'll click on finish. Now. I'll go back to my, now we have successfully created the new volume, the D drive. I'll go to this file explorer. I'll click on this PC and here we go. We have this D drive, which is almost like 50 GB, 49 GB is there. 
All right. So we already had a vacant drive of 10 GB and we added 40 GB on it. You can create a simple drive, whatever. In this manner, you can create as much as uh, drives till the time you have space in your C drive. Always remember before deleting any volume, you should not have any data on it. Take a backup of it and then delete the volume if you want to. All right. So if you if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Take care. I'll be glad if you leave a comment. Take care.